Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the very first episode in this new alternate history series that we're going to be doing on this channel, which takes a look at the August coup in 1991. What we're going to be looking at is what would have happened if it would have started a Soviet civil war. This is hands down, I feel like one of the best episodes I've ever put together, so I really hope you guys enjoy it and I hope uh, that this is a good way to be starting off this new series. If this is something that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not already, and also hit the bell so that way you guys can be notified when these episodes and other ones also come out. Now there's going to be a lot of course that's going on with this scenario, so make sure you check the introductory video if you have not already. Uh, so that way you can kind of know everything that's kind of happened up to this point. But for this particular episode, as per tradition, we're going to go ahead and hit the briefing. Now I'm going to be playing as Alpha Group. Now Alpha Group has been deployed to the Crimean Peninsula by the head of the KGB, Vladimir Kriuchkov. Alpha Group is going to be heading to Yalta to go ahead and get supplied, get everything ready to go before we move on our major target. Now this target we are supposed to kill or capture this individual, preferably capture, and that is going to be Miguel Gorbachev, who is vacationing at his dacha. Now, there is one significant challenge that we face with this, and that is that the Black Sea Fleet is not that far away. We don't know how they uh, are going to, or who they're going to side with here in the, in the coup, so we've got to be very careful. Now, we are going to land here to the east, one of the concerns that I have is if I go ahead and move to the west, the Black Sea Fleet could come in and cut us off from Yalta. And if that happens, we have no way of being able to get out of here. Remember, the Black Sea Fleet does not know that we're going for Gorbachev. So we can expect some type of reaction from them as soon as things get started. Now, Gorbachev's dacha is very heavily defended. There's a lot of things that were put in place for his own security, and there are 32 security guards that are there protecting him, some of them in plain clothes uh, civilian, and others who are obviously security personnel. We've been told that he's been tipped off that we are coming to get him, so he's actually evacuated to a safe house. Again, we got information too, though, about where that location is and we're going to be landing there. Fortunately for us, it's not too far away. One of the ideas is that his uh, helipad nearby uh, can provide him a quick way of escape. So since we know where that target is, as I mentioned, we're gonna be moving towards that first. Hopefully he hasn't left the area. The 32 security guards that he has is probably inside and around this safe house as well. So once we move in, it's going to be heavily defended and there's going to be a lot of close quarters combat that we're going to have to take part in. Now for us, we are heavily trained. We are experts in this. Uh, Alpha Group, if you are unaware, are trained as anti-terrorists and they get some of the best training that the Soviet Union has to offer. So yes, we are going to be heavily outnumbered, but that is okay because we should have the experience and the training to be able to overcome that. Hopefully we can get Gorbachev, bring him back because it's part of the story. Uh, he's been deemed a traitor and is bringing back to be arrested. So that's kind of what's going to be going on here. We're coming into the location, which is uh, a town nearby Gorbachev's dacha, which is called Foros. So once we land, we're going to have to move really quickly. You can see the safe house is right there on the edge of the water, not that far away from where his own dacha is. So once we hit the ground, as I mentioned, we've got to get going. And I think we've got a pretty good spot right up ahead, kind of at where those two roads intersect. We can land right there. We've got some cover here. We kind of move up through the town. I don't know if Gorbachev is going to have any informants here inside of the town to kind of tip him off that we're coming this way. The problem is if we were to land far enough away to where... Uh, we were going to be completely unseen. It would take us a long time to be able to get there. And since he knows that we're coming, he might have already tipped off the Black Sea Fleet uh, that we're kind of on our way to get him. So time is of the essence, but obviously we can't land right on top of, of the safe house. We don't know what kind of weapons or uh, what they might have. And if they shoot down our helicopter, I mean, we're all obviously gonna be taken out at that point. Just trying to take a look around. Everything looks safe. That one tower, though, does kind of worry me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a sniper or something like that in there. Let me make sure we've got everybody out. And then we're going to get moving through the town. Because there are only 
32 security personnel guarding Gorbachev right now. I'm not expecting to come in contact with anybody inside of the town. So we're not, you know, kind of going from building to building. We're moving as quickly as we can. Things do seem pretty quiet inside of the town, too. It is pretty close to early morning. So I wasn't expecting to see some people out. Okay, we've made our way through the town, and now we're on the road that gets us to the safe house. So you can see we are in a staggered column formation here. And this is where I'm expecting us to come up against at least a few security forces. Having some type of checkpoint or something like that up here would probably be a pretty smart move just to kind of give everybody inside of the safe house just some warning that there might be enemy coming. Now, I'm seeing some guys on the on the road. I don't think he's seen us yet. You can see all the other guys in Alpha Group have taken some cover going into some of these bushes. I am the only one in the open. Yeah, I'm really surprised I haven't been spotted yet because I'm not in any kind of cover. It seems like everybody else here is pretty confident that they're not going to be spotted either. Oh, there we go. Okay, he spotted us. We dropped him. Now this cover that I've got on the right might be useful for me. I can go ahead and just stick my head up, start engaging everybody, and kind of come back down. So I've still got some cover here, which depending on where these guys are at, I might have the advantage because, yep, we've got some guys who are just standing out in the open. Let's move right. Again, using terrain to our advantage here, we've got the higher position. I think there's just a few left. I might lob a grenade over there to be to be safe and efficient here. But obviously with all this gunfire, they're going to know that we're coming in what direction we're coming from too. Okay, grenade out. Oh, one more person up there. Let's get another grenade going. Did I get them both? I did get them both. Okay, we're clear. Let's see, that looks like that was about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's eight of them here. We've still got 24 that we have to concern ourselves with. I'm going to move ahead here. Obviously, I'm leading the, the team that we've got, but I'm happy to scout ahead here. So that way the, the main force doesn't come in contact with any surprises. If anybody's going to go down, I'd want it to be me here as... The team leader. Yep, guards at the house, the entrance. Okay, I think they're both down too. Oh, we've got a car trying to get away. I'm going to open fire on it here. Unleash everything that I can. Get the driver. If there's anybody in there, I mean, that could be Gorbachev that's inside of that car. Got to make sure he doesn't get out of here. But reloading took up a lot of time. And good chances to be able to hit the car. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time hitting it from here. It's gone behind those trees. Okay, there's nothing we can do about it now. We can't chase it on foot. But the way that he's getting out of here, the speed that he's at, I don't know. I feel like that he might be, be carrying Gorbachev. I couldn't see in the back seat. He could be laying down. I also don't know if this vehicle is, is armored or what. But as it's moving away, we're hearing the Black Sea Fleet come in here with their helicopter. Now this this helicopter is huge. It can carry a lot of troops. So it seems like he did tip them off that we were coming before we had even arrived. Question is if they're going to engage us or not. I can imagine that they will though. I mean there's hope that they won't shoot their fellow countrymen. But we've already gone ahead and done that ourselves so I'm going to assume that they're hostile. Oh we got somebody in the second story. On somebody in the, the window right here. I'm going to move up here. Oh, yep. Okay, there we go. Got him. I got hit, so I will patch myself up. I'm going to leave everybody else outside. And I'm going to go ahead and push in. See if I can clear this. We've gotten a few guys already just from the outside. But as soon as I open this door, I don't know if we're going to have anybody in here. Clear on the right. This is the only guy in this room. Oh, it's going for the helipad. You know what? 
I bet that vehicle did have him in there. Oh, yeah, he's going into land right there. Okay. I've got to clear this out here really quick. It could be the diversion. If we start moving for it and he's in here. I've got to make sure it is clear. Somebody on the ground waiting for me. Took him out first. Okay, it looks like this first floor might be clear. Oh! Have to reload here. I've only got four rounds left. Okay, I think first floor is clear. Let's take a look at the second floor. Yeah, that was the guy that we shot from the window. There's his desk. Bedroom clear. Going to the next room. Verify that this this whole floor is clear. Okay, stairs leading up to or a ladder leading up to the attic. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, maybe what I can do here is I head out. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to head out of here. I mean, I'll send somebody to take a look up in the attic real quick. But with him coming in and getting into position, he had to come around one more time. He's going to come in and land. And if he's got troops in there, which I assume that he does, they're probably going to start moving at least to me. There's going to be a group that will probably stay, guard the chopper, especially if Gorbachev is heading their way. But if they could slow us down from getting there, Gorbachev could get out of here. So again, time is a major factor for us. We're going to have to rush to try and get to this helipad as quickly as we can. All right, so it's landed. I would assume three, maybe even four squads of Soviet infantry could be somewhere out there. Now, there's a lot of trees a lot of bushes, shrubs in between our position here at the safe house and also uh, between our position and the helipad. So we've got a lot of cover that we're going to have to be able to move through. But it does give the advantage here to the Black Sea Fleet as they're going to have a lot of cover as well to potentially even ambush us. You can see we've got about 460 meters to get to that helipad. So it is not that far away. None of us have been wounded or killed, so we're at full strength here. So I feel like we're gonna we'll be all right through this. Now I'm not gonna take the road. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, the wooded area again for that cover that I was telling you about a little bit ago. But this is where things get a little dangerous. Now is he calling out targets? Yes, we've got targets up ahead. Okay, it looks like that these are security forces here for Gorbachev. Yeah, I'm taking down a few of them here. Okay, I'm just going to try and shoot in between the trees. Right, there's another one. Okay, we're going to have to keep pushing up here. Got to be aggressive about this. Things have gone quiet. Maybe one person left. I'm looking at where the bullets are hitting the ground. Okay, here we go. Oh, I shot him in between those two trees. Oh, I've got a guy right there too. Okay, now I think we're clear. All right, less than 300 meters to go. Got to keep moving up here. Everybody's still good? Taking a look at the screen below, it looks like everybody is... Perfect. Okay, catch up. Want to make sure I stick with everybody here too. Okay, so now we're hitting, it looks like an orchard. We've got a different set of trees. Now the good thing is about this particular area is a lot of the trees are pretty much clear a couple meters from the ground so I could see a little bit farther in front of me there'll probably still be some surprises in here but hopefully not as much as what we just saw a little bit ago that was a lot more dense in the forest okay somebody's seeing somebody else oh again right in front of us 
think that's somebody. Yeah, I can see a little bit more, but really not that much. Okay, Radio. are they waiting for us? Oh, there was some movement. Oh. All right, I saw him fall. Okay, where are my guys firing? Oh, over to the left here. We've even got guys up here. Now, luckily, all my guys have kind of moved up. Now they're right in line with me. Don't have the best cover right here except for me behind this tree. Some of my other guys are out in the open. We got a lot of fire that we're pouring on these guys all at the same time, too. So I think we have fire superiority right here. And looks like we might be even, or at least we were even with numbers here at the start of this. Oh, man. Did I get that guy? No. He's still behind the tree. There we go. Now I think I got him. Yeah, when he's running perpendicular to me, it's obviously hard to hit him. Okay, again, things are quiet. Move up. Got a 150-ish meters here to go. Actually, I think that is a checkpoint. We may be farther away. Because listening to the sound of the helicopter, it's still at a distance here. I mean, it's still not that far. Ah, dang it, got to reload. Got behind the tree just in time, though. How am I doing on ammo? Ooh, I do not have much ammo. I mean, going into this, we weren't expecting a huge firefight like this. Might have to grab some ammo. At least some of the AI around me will if uh, we run out. I guess if there is one positive side to this engagement... In this whole scenario is there shouldn't be a shortage of ammunition we can always grab ammunition off of enemies that we have downed okay I think we got one more guy back there Did that get him through the branches all right sheer luck okay we're pushing up now since we've engaged the Black Sea fleet here I think we've gone through all of the security forces. So it does let me know who we're going to be going up against. We know their tactics. We know what they're going to do. As we move up here, we should have the advantage. Of course, they are going to be more heavily armed than the security forces of Gorbachev were. So that is something we have to take into consideration. But it looks like, again, they're trying to slow us up. So they may have some defensive lines kind of set up. And we've blasted through, I think, one of them. That was definitely a heavy line I want to say maybe two squads that we engaged and took out and still we're uh we're 100 right now no dead or wounded okay we're coming up to an opening here it looks like we've got a road right at this checkpoint okay oh movement to the right that is a lot of guys use this tree for cover might still be able to hit him there we go got him really just trying to hit one guy at a time I think we've taken about four down I'm gonna move to the right here I'm gonna get behind everybody just so I don't cross anybody's path here I can move off to the right and may allow me to somewhat flank them most of them are kind of pointing off uh, or at least the enemy were kind of focusing on the direction that I was at oh here we go ah, dang it somebody see me move up I dropped him let's get behind this tree and Let's get healed again before I make another push up. And let's move. There's someone over there. Let's just throw some smoke over there just in case. Make sure I get that right at least covered here from concealment as I move up. Got somebody in front of me again. I might have to just spray into that area if I can't spot him. But at the same time with how little ammunition I've got right now. I don't want to waste anything unless it's absolutely necessary. Let's just fire a few rounds. Nope, he's still there. 
Okay, we're gonna go grenade right in there. Oh, that bounced off the tree. Get him. Oh no, I think they might be further up a little bit. Oh no, there he is. Oh, last round is what took him out there. Okay, 250 meters. There we go. We've got 250 meters to get to the helipad. Alright. Come on, guys. We're going to have to move quickly. This is the one tough part. I know the AI is going to be bounding, not moving as fast as I am, despite uh, the urgency of the situation here. So that's why I'm going to have to move up here and hope that they come up pretty quick. Realize that the area is clear. Keep moving. It's It would be suicide if I just move up here all by myself. I'm going to need this entire group. We've done so well so far. Still no casualties, it looks like, too. Unless one of my machine gunners. No, I think he's just low on ammo. Okay, we're getting so close here. Another line is expected, and there's somebody. This time, we were able to surprise them. I right, saw some movement up over there. Do this again. Let's kind of rotate to the right side here. Might be able to even get an eye on what's happening at the helipad. Since Gorbachev wasn't in the house, he's for sure up there. Has he been loaded on there yet is the, the question. Okay, I've got another grenade I might throw up in that direction. Okay, left. I thought I heard some, some noises, but obviously that was fire from my own guys. Just trying to look to see where they're, they're firing. PKM gunner is focusing on the right. There we go. Now I'm seeing some movement. I think he's down. I'm going to have to push up here, guys. I've got to make a move. All right, we've got the helicopter in sight. What do we got? A lot of dead up here. Okay, I think we're we're clear. Nothing between us and the chopper here now. Oh, it's taking off. Dang it! Only hope I have here is this RPG 26. See if I can fire at it. Gorbachev's gonna get away. Make sure we clear this out here, though. Dang it. Alright, we've got some of his security guards here on the, the helipad, so this is the last group I think we're gonna have to engage here before we call this a mission here. Yep, there's the car up there, too. Out of all the shots, I'm surprised none of them either hit the driver or Gorbachev in the back must have been armored or something oh well let's keep pushing up here and get this area clear and I think we're seeing some or taking some fire from the other side of the helipad maybe in those trees oh and actually right on the helipad too yeah there we go I'm not gonna move up any farther than this here right now until we've got the helipad clear yeah, those guys must have been guarding the helipad the whole time because these are his security forces. Okay, I think we've got it clear. Man, well, this is going to end in a mission failure here for us as we weren't able to capture Gorbachev. So he's going to make it back here to the ba uh, Black Sea Fleet. And things are going to get pretty complicated now here as news is going to get out that there was an attempt on Gorbachev's life. Now, how that's going to go in the rest of the Soviet Union kind of remains to be seen but these are definitely the first shots of what very well could be the Soviet Civil War so thanks for watching you guys I really appreciate it like I said more of this to come later on so like the video if you enjoyed what you saw comment tell me what you liked about it too subscribe if you haven't already we do have a discord so you can let me know what you thought about this mission and the scenario all of that and of course if you can donate to the patreon it does mean a lot to support me but thanks for watching war as hell you guys don't have to worry because warfighters I've got your six